Hello everyone, this will be a short video which will introduce the uh, recent project that I finished. I will not have a tutorial guys because I followed someone else's tutorials and um, um, this was Kathy Orta. Orta. Uh, I'm sure you've heard about her if you are into scrapbooking. Uh, so this is um, the project that I purchased from her quite a while ago and it was waiting for uh, its turn uh, to be um, fulfilled. So I'm now a proud owner of a paper a typewriter, vintage typewriter, and I totally love the result. Um, it's very uh, real, it looks very real, and um, it's covered with um, acrylic paint, so um, that's where the glare comes from. Um, I have several words to uh, say about the details on this project, because, for example, the bobby pins i think this is how these are called um i had um short bobby pins in my stash so i had to alter the project and um not to create it exactly as it was said in the tutorial and um, because i had the short bobby pins but anyway it looks um it looks nice it looks very real and I had these uh, uh, tiny wooden spools that I purchased also a while ago from AliExpress. I will include the link in the description box to this video for those who maybe will want and uh, order some wooden spools for themselves. Um, I covered the uh, letters here with the glossy accents, so um, it gives um, also um, some uh, nice finish to the buttons and um, these parts here I created from uh, paper and chipboard and I um, put here a ribbon um, instead of the how you call it a tape string or I don't know where the ink was while you typed and uh, this um, this thing here I actually had I bought it from uh, Dezo if you heard of that store it's uh, uh, all all of the items which are in the shop are uh, cost two dollars so this pack of uh, metal clips was two dollars I used one currently and I think it really looks nice here because it holds the ribbon all the rest of the metal uh, embellishments here and pieces were uh, purchased uh, from AliExpress um, except for this pool. This pool was from uh, Kaisercraft. Um, these are called metal label pools and they are brass color. Uh, I think they are also um, available in the silver finish but anyway everything I used here was the brass finish so um, this one as well okay and these on the sides um, um, have um, some rings so you can actually uh, hold the uh, typewriter on them uh, holding them too and uh, here on the uh, back side of the typewriter there is a drawer I added uh, the metal corners uh, to the drawer uh, um, just to make it look more finished, I don't know. And here is the really cool pool. Um, I will attach the links to the metal embellishments um, in the description box to this video, as I already told you. And um, Kathy actually suggests in her tutorial to make some dividers and create a calendar here inside the drawer. I didn't want to do that, so I created a simple um, booklet. Um, it closes like this, opens like this, and it has uh, six pages. 
uh, they are pocket pages I didn't embellish them but every uh, pocket page has a tag inside um, and uh, actually this was the first time that I used uh, stack the deck binding from uh, Laura Dennison um, every time I created a mini album or a book until now I used the uh, hidden hinge binding system from Kathy Orr but uh, this time I needed the uh, gaps between the pages to be really really small one eighth of an inch so the only way um, that I saw it uh, happen was using the stack the deck binding system so um, I really recommend to use it if you need uh, once again um, thin and small gaps between your pages so um, the stamps are from Tim Holtz as well here on the uh, inner uh, sides of the cover and this is how it looks uh, on the back um, the stamps that I used here are from Paper Artsy um, I can show you the packaging sorry to be away um, this is how the stamps look like they are a good size and um, they're really nice for the vintage look uh, projects okay so this is the finished vintage typewriter I'm not um, promoting uh, Kathy's tutorial here but <laughs> I think if you want uh, to have your vintage typewriter you should definitely uh, try and um, get the tutorial for yourself um, and that's it um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and thank you guys for watching you can find uh, additional pictures of this uh, typewriter on my blog I will attach the link in the description box thank you guys for watching and subscribing to my channel have a nice weekend bye bye